If, if I were to rewind the tape to, to 2019, maybe somewhere in the, in the final quarter, you would have had your bookings for 2020 lined up, obviously without any sense that COVID-19 and its consequences were coming. Did it look good? I mean, was 2020, 2021 pre-COVID lining up to, to be sustainable and profitable? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, the venue's been profitable since we took over, which is over 20 years ago. And right. I think Coca-Cola in in the early days. Um, but it's been really, you know, it's, it's been very successful and it's been a, a great event venue. Um, so it literally is very COVID related. I think the last event we had or last music event was Black Coffee in December 19, 2019 as part of the um, Music is King tour. Yes. Um, and then we had, we had quite a full diary, to be honest, in 2020. And then, of course, come March, we've obviously had to cancel everything. And I think we all felt in our industry, maybe a little bit of wishful thinking possibly. Yes. But I think we thought, oh, no, the industry will come back to life come March 2021. And here we are again and in July. And we've obviously gone into a third lockdown with a complete ban on public gatherings. So yep. I think so- frustration that we have though sorry i didn't mean to interrupt you there the, the frustration we have is that you can go to a shopping mall but you can't go to an event um at a big venue as the dome where you can really space everything out because we don't just have the fun events we have business trade shows right which have a huge economic impact why can't you go to one of those i mean we're going to be very sensible because I think our industry is more aware that, yes. you know, if anything happens and somebody ca- contracts COVID, it's completely damaging to the industry. News. Experts. Analysis. Where things stand. What you need to know. Drive home with John Pullman. On 702.